Data centers consume enormous amounts of energy, and currently that's around a total of 1% global energy consumption. As traffic continues to grow, so will the energy intensity of data centers. And in some countries, this is estimated to account for between 5 and 10% of total consumption by 2030. So it's an imperative for these to run more efficiently. There are already some ways in which this footprint is being minimized. Some of these ways include using more renewable energy to power operations. And there's also been lots of innovations around cooling of the equipment, because currently around 40% of energy used in data centers goes towards cooling. So some of these things include state-of-the-art HVAC systems, which stands for heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. So for example, Google's data center systems, um, their HVAC is controlled by AI, and Microsoft uses an immersion cooling system, which uses liquid that has a boiling point of 50 degrees that submerges the server and dissipates heat without the usual levels of power consumption that's required. Other measures like smart lighting and temperature regulation can also help. In addition to these, there are physical characteristics of large data centers that can help them to use less passive energy. So larger data centers can have lower PUE in comparison to smaller edge data centers. And this is because they can afford to turn off some servers in response to peaks and troughs in demand, which brings average utilization a little bit higher than their edge counterparts. But on the flip side, smaller edge data centers can require less cooling and ventilation relative to their size because they can have larger surface volumes, which keeps the equipment cool. And this is particularly prevalent at benefit where they are based in colder climates. But the decision of running workloads in the cloud data centers versus edge data centers is not based on sustainability considerations, but rather which one is most appropriate for the workloads. So as edge begins to scale, it's important to consider ways in which smaller edge data centers can become more sustainable. There are a few key things that edge data centers can deploy to become more sustainable. So the first one is, as mentioned, to use more renewable energy to power the data centers and also the HVAC systems. Edge data centers can also look at the innovations taking place in hyperscale data centers like using water cooling technology. Furthermore, they can exploit the inherent technologies in modern chipsets, which can put cores to sleep in microseconds, as opposed to several seconds, which in aggregate can have massive impacts. They can also use their smaller scale to their advantage, so using waste heat more innovatively. For example, smaller data centers can be closer to residential areas, which means that waste heat can be used to heat homes. They can also consider working with hardware providers and server providers that have smaller physical footprints, which saves on embedded carbon. And finally, they can look to use specialized GPUs that can run edge workloads instead of CPUs to reduce carbon footprint because some applications can run faster using GPUs, which means they use less overall energy. So these are just some of the few key ways that edge data centers can look to minimize their carbon footprint as they scale.